Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, and in this episode of Creative Techniques, I'm going to show you how to use an Apple Pencil to create animated, handmade titles for your videos. Okay, we're looking at my Mac, and I've got QuickTime Player open, because in QuickTime Player you can do a new movie recording. One of the options in that is, with a connected iPad, to record the whole screen. So on my iPad, I've got an app called Procreate. It's available in the App Store, it's been available for years, and it's a fantastic natural media app. Let's use all kinds of brushes in all kinds of categories. There's full control over each kind of brush. You can do an awful lot with it. Now, one of the key features with Procreate is that if you were to create a title, something like this, and Ugly Delicious has been known for their handmade titles, then you can actually play that back using the time-lapse replay feature. But the problem is it just records a new step after each stroke. And that's not really what I want in this case. I want it fully handmade. And I should point out that Ugly Delicious had really good titles, but they weren't animated at all. And that's totally fine. Uh, but if you want them animated, you have to go through something a little bit different. To undo in Procreate, you tap with two fingers. So I'm just tapping with two fingers a few times to clear it all out. I'm going to change the background color to black because I want a white title on top of black. So I'll set the paintbrush to white as well. Now, here's a sneaky bit. I'm going to tap with four fingers to go into full screen mode. There is a little icon just up in the top left corner. I'll have to crop that off, but that's not a problem because the iPad screen is four to three and we want widescreen for making videos. Now, the important step here is to hit record in QuickTime Player. Now I'm actually live and everything I do will be recorded into a video. So yeah, if you mess this up, you might want to clear it out and start it again, but look, I'm just going to go with that. Let's hit stop. Now if I play that forward, I've got white text on a black background. Let's save it. I'll just save it on the desktop for now though. Always hit that little triangle so you can see what you're actually doing, where you're really going to save a file. You only have to do that once in each app on a Mac. Let's hit save. All right, head to Final Cut, where I've got a video open. I'm going to import. There's my summer title. And I can throw it on top of the video. Now I'll quickly silence that. You can see the title is longer than the video, so that's okay. I'll just trim it with the trim start command. I've put that on F5, but you can put it on whatever you want. And it does default to option left square bracket. So it's still a little bit too long, and obviously it's got a black background. So let's ditch the black background. With the title selected, go to Blend Mode here in the Inspector in the Video Properties. And I could choose Add, Lighten, or Screen. I'm going to go for Screen. Now it's a little bit too long for this clip. So I'm going to hit Command-R to go to the Retime menu. Shift-Z to show me everything. That's bit too long for me here. I'm going to trim end. That defaults to option right square bracket. And I just drag the little line back. And let's say it's there. Okay. Now, obviously, I need to trim off that little mark. So I'll just use the crop control to just take off a tiny bit there. If you needed to scale up or down, then obviously you can do that. You can activate the controls here and move it around and position it wherever you want, if that's what you're looking for. Obviously, that's a good starting point. There's lots more you can do with an Apple Pencil and an iPad and use it for regular work with your desktop apps like Final Cut. If you want to learn more about Final Cut, I've got paid and free courses online. Hopefully they're helpful too. See you in another video soon. Bye.